Hello everybody, I'm SJM. Welcome back to some more FTB1 on our Let's Play World. Episode 4, we're going to be starting into some of the in FTB industrial contraptions mods. So we're going to finally get into some um, of the technical stuff instead of the uh, magical stuff. So um, in, in the mod there, it's got uh, quite a bit of stuff that used to come from the uh, Industrial Contraptions 2 mod, IC2. Back in the day, I played it in 112 quite a bit. It was a part of my the first mod pack that I ever played, which was uh, F um, Age of Engineering, which was an amazing pack and had a lot of fun with uh, my first playthrough. Through. Didn't get all the way through the pack, obviously, because you get to some of that higher-end stuff and your head is already overwhelmed from all of this modded stuff to start anyway, so... But at any rate, today, yeah, we're going to be getting into the IC2, so I've got some stuff earmarked here. Uh, just going back to the chickens, um, I haven't made a Soul Sand chicken yet because I haven't seen the need for it. And then there's four chickens that I haven't made just yet. The Leather, Gas Tear, Emerald, and Prismarine. I'll get around to that between the next couple of, between the next couple of episodes. Just not going to be doing all this stuff on camera because it's pretty standard, right? You just find a water chicken, get your Emerald chicken, mate them, and you'll get the Prismarine chicken. And then you can, or for the Prismarine crystals, and then you just throw them into your roosts and they will produce for you and yeah this thing's just way too full of resources now so I'm letting it all back up and taking stuff out that I don't need a whole lot of anymore and I definitely did not need this extent of roosts um, but maybe we will in the future because hopefully they tone down the amount of resources that the chickens give especially when you have 10 chickens that have the full stats on them in one of these roosts you just get so much so fast maybe that's the intention i'm not sure but it seems op to me anyways to start off so we'll get uh night is coming up here but uh, to get started into the ic2 as i mentioned in one of the earlier episodes you want to be on the lookout for these rubber wood trees in the world and uh, if you don't have the space to take down the tree and wait for the saplings to come right away, then you'll have to come back to it later so that you can bring it to your base because you'll need these close by to uh, even get started into the industrial craft stuff. So it was a little bit tricky because if you look at the rubber wood log here, it's from the mod Mer Trees which I didn't realize at first, and I'm looking all through this, not very many items, but there's quite a few here, and I'm looking for some kind of the tree tap or whatever you use to get the sap out of the trees so that you can start making the rubber that you need for the cables, which are used in all of the machines. So eventually I tracked it down and found it in JEI. It's from the Mer Trees mod and it's called a tree tap. And to go with the tree taps, you need these wooden buckets. So we're just going to tap these trees on the second block up. And then if we put a bucket beneath each one of these tree taps, we can see that stuff and things start happening and something's going in there. Can't get anything out of it just yet, but there is a little tool tip there. When I click, clicked on it, it said 136 of 2,000. So it seems that each of these buckets has a limit of 2,000 to go for it. So I'm going to do likewise on this tree. The, both of these trees were naturally grown out of saplings. And we know these work for sure. But I wanted to see, can we fake it? And I also wanted to test to see if removing any of the leaves from these trees has an effect on the sap production. Doesn't appear to, so I think I'm in the clear here. There. So 
So what I'm going to do is just put together my own cheeky little rubber wood tree and see if we can't get sap out of it. Maybe a bit taller. Two more. this look like the old school rubber trees. Yay. Alright, so there's a cheeky little tree. I can't even put the tree tap onto it, so that just tells us right there Yeah, neither vein mine works properly on those rubber wood tree logs at all. So I'm just waiting for this guy to grow up finally. Could get some some more bone meal, but I've already invested some bone meal into growing these up, so that's not a big deal. So let's see. So get full enough then you right click on them and they will pop out some latex for you. I needed six to get started but we got seven so that's good. And then we're just going to cook this up so that latex then turns into the rubber. Then we need the rubber to make the LV cables. And LV cables require copper wire. Copper wire is made just with copper ingots like that. So you get three copper ingots, make six wire there. And then if we look back here, we've got the secondary one where we don't even have to make the wire first. We can just put six rubber and the three ingots and it the, the mass out exactly the same, right? It's just six times exactly. I thought that iron furnace would be a little bit faster than that, but let's see if we can. No. So I take it a thousand is exactly enough to get a piece of latex out of it. Yep, it was, it was. So after we've got the tree taps and the buckets out of the way, we're going to need to make some power. So this is with the basic generator and then on top of that we can then have the powered furnace so we don't need to spend coal to cook things anymore. Well we do because we have a basic generator but we'll come around about on that here in a little bit. Also we'll want a macerator so um, this is the main way going forward from 118 to get to double your ores was to use fortune, right? Because we get these chunks now instead of the actual ores. So the macerator is a way to get a little bit extra on top of fortune. Um, the centrifuge is another way to turn uh, rubber wood directly into um, latex so you can put the saplings in there but you can also put the leaves in there and the rubber wood will be the big one that gets you a lot more latex back out of it right but we also need the centrifuge to empty maybe we want to empty fuel cells or do some other processing we can double our sugar cane right there's some things that it can do in there uh, the big thing that we're looking at doing is automating some more resources. That will be with the quarry. This takes a lot of energy to use, so we'll we'll save that for a little bit later. I can move that to the end there. But we'll also want an LV battery box. This way our generator can generate 
uh, energy and the battery box will store it if the machines aren't being used at a time. And then the LV transformer would be something that if we had something a little higher up, so there's LV, right, then MV, so low voltage, medium voltage, HV for high voltage, and then EV, extreme, I guess, uh, for the uh, different tiers of energy that all of the machines can do. And then looks like after a while this all stops. So I assume I've got to chop down these trees now and then replace them. I'm assuming, I don't know for sure. Got some more rubber here, so let's just keep grinding away on that. So now we're going to need three of these guys. So we need industrial grade metal to make this basic generator plus an iron furnace. The iron furnace is pretty simple. I had these a little bit earlier. I don't know if you noticed in the playthroughs, but it's just getting iron and putting a furnace in there. So let's just grab one of these bad boys. Yes. <laughs> you can't use the biting gadget. Ah, oh, sometimes. Yeah, on machines, right? Works good for reg, works amazing for regular blocks, not so well for uh, functional blocks. All right, and I forgot to bring some resources, right? So we're gonna need some iron, some tin, probably need some copper. I forget. And then this LV battery. So redstone we did need. All right, Take the battery. There we go. Now this industrial grade metal is just iron cooked. All right, so we need three of it. Do it down here, I wonder. Good, that'll be a little bit quicker. I'll bring you guys back in a minute when that's done cooking up. All right, so we got our industrial grade metal now. So now we've got the generator. Now for the powered furnace, oh, look at this. We need all of this cable plus another metal. up eight in there. Get a little bit more that way. Should have foreseen that I would need a whole bunch more of that industrial grade metal, right? But we can put our basic generator down now. Boing. Not buying. is right on this line here so this is safe here that laser is just too good too good so this is just a basic coal generator just 
stuff in there. It'll build up some energy and obviously we don't have any kind of a buffer for it so it fills up really fast. It has a very small internal buffer which is why I pointed out that we're going to want one of these LV battery boxes. more of those. Oh, forgot about the cert or the advanced. A circuit. What did I do with the iron furnace that I picked up? That's the generator, yeah. I'm confused, but Whatever, it's fine. So now this emptied out a little bit of its buffer to get this guy powered up. But... Okay, that did break. I'm always scared of this because um, in, in IC2, if you didn't break it with the special tool with the wrench, all you got back out of it was a machine frame or nothing at all essentially because you the machine frame didn't cost very much oh yeah we just needed to oh yeah we wanted to get the battery box right so I need some planks and three more batteries They don't stack. Good to know, good to know. So now if I'm not mistaken, I can put this guy down here and it will start filling up with 40,000 bolts, whereas this guy only can do 4,000, right? thinking I could do that. Now, I don't know if there's a priority that this is powering this first before that, but at any rate that's kind of how I was going to set up all of these machines in a little row. So the macerator, see the machine block, needs a fuse which needs some glass. Oh, you got 24 for that recipe. Okay, so that's not a big cost at all. And then to get to the centrifuge, we'll be reusing those tree taps. Plus, so yeah, we're going to need a lot, a lot of this industrial grade metal, which makes me want to get my iron chicken back into the mix over there. Because that's going to be a lot of iron at the end of the day so we'll get started on that a little proactively here and this quarry is going to take quite a bit so it's going to need advanced circuits so advanced circuits on top of the regular circuit will need some extra things and silicon is just cooked nether quartz so that's not too hard either and you get three each uh, oh no it's separated so yes, this is the other, I forgot, this is the other reason we need the centrifuge is so we can get the silicon. Because yeah, the only ways is to uh, separate sand or nether quartz. So that's why I had the centrifuge on the list for sure. Macerator is not such a high priority because it's only adding like 30% or 33% on top of um, your regular ore chunks on top of your fortune, so not a super high priority for
for right now, especially with the chickens going on, but it would be nice to, you know, squeeze out a little bit extra from our tin and our zinc and our copper, uh, well, copper not so much, it's so abundant, uh, but maybe our uranium or the other um, ores that we might use when we, if we look at going into the extreme reactors, because that looks like the main major power generating mod in here. Uh, but that is it for this episode, getting started on the industrial craft machines. In between episodes, I'll get those other chickens hammered out, the other machines made, and then we can get into getting the quarry set up. And we'll be doing that in a different dimension. So that's if for those who know, you know. If not, tune in to the next episode. I appreciate you all, and we will see you in the next one.